Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. We're one of my rough wells and rough roughers. It's Rocky, and I'm, I'm here with the rain. Oh. Get it. Hey, we know. Rocky. This is Rocky. And we here with Rua Rubio. Rua we Rua 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 On YouTube. We run Rua 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 I'm starting this video, y'all. I know I have not been recording in a minute. I've been busy. It ain't that so much was uh, so busy, but sometimes I just want my private life. So I wanted to be a little selfish with myself and stay to myself. But here I am, me, Tina, and our trainer, Reba. And we're gonna work out today. And I'm gonna show you the meal preps. Even though it's Friday, I'm gonna show y'all what we had all week. And it was the bomb diggity, because it made me think about going vegan, okay? So y'all stay tuned. Yeah. Was first time like real deal actual running like picking her feet up let's go one two three four five
Hey, love bugs. Okay, so I'm back. And um, we had went to work out today. This is the same day, of course. But I did not show you the meal prep meals for that went on this week. It's Friday now. Today is Friday, you all. So these were our meal preps, which really got me thinking about going vegan, you all, because, whew. Okay. This was for lunch. These are vegan tacos. I can touch it because it's mine. Vegan tacos, you all. These are the vegan tacos. Came with the salsa. She always sends the little cups or whatever. Excuse the nails. Yeah, I cut them off. I'm trying to give them a break so I can get them done on my birthday so they could be, you know, give my nails some time to grow. But anyway, yeah. And um, this is a side salad. It has, uh, I taste it. I don't know if it was blueberries or raisins or something up in here, but it's got almonds in it, cucumber, tomato, with spring, uh, spring vegetables. Yeah, spring leaf, whatever. And it's got, it's a uh, vinaigrette sauce that came with it too. They come in little cups like this, but I didn't grab it because it was in the refrigerator. Now, this, Salad is a dinner salad that goes along with this, you all. This is a vegan stuffed bell pepper with vegan cheese, and it's got the sauce in it, you all. Bomb.com, okay, y'all? This tastes so amazing. And I'm like, okay, so I didn't know vegan could be good like this. I mean, I don't see how this is not beef or turkey, and it tastes just like it. So yeah, that is um, our meal preps that we had for this week. Uh, also came along with the, like I said, the salsa and the little tomatoes or whatever. And you know, she always sets it up real nice. I really, y'all, really, 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 really. If the chicken, or not chicken, but vegan, supposedly chicken, quote unquote, plant-based, tastes as good as this, it's on. It's on, y'all. It's like beef uh gone chicken gone i am straight up vegan you all if it could taste this good whoever my trainer got to cook this i shout out to you i don't know your name i probably should have gotten your name before i stated this but honey this is good okay this is good i'm going vegan let me taste and see that that uh, that uh substitute chicken let me call it that it's good, you know. Let me let me find out. Let me find out, y'all. It's on. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say yes. I have been missing in action for a minute. Um, I'm not gonna tell you all that uh, I was busy. I'm not gonna say that. Um, oh, I'm working on this and I'm working on that. Cause sometimes usually that's the case. But this is not the case where I have been missing in action. The case was really I just didn't want to. You know. Um, I get on here, I share my life with you all, I try to be as transparent as I can, but sometimes I just want my privacy. Sometimes I want my life to myself sometimes. I felt a little selfish. I felt like not sharing myself with anyone. And that's how I was feeling lately. And um, trying to, sometimes you gotta, you know, sit back and regroup on things. Um, I know I got surgeries coming up, not surgeries, but I have a surgery coming up, you all. April 20th is the date that um, I'm having surgery for the bloopa. Yeah, these. And um, they're also at the same time going to have the cysts removed. So I have to go on March 18th and have them um, insert some lidocaine or something, uh, and some dye or something to mark the spot that's inside my breast that when I go have the breast reduction that that separate surgeon comes in and removes that. So that's what's going on. And um, I'm having that, uh, like I said, inserted March 18th. The surgery is April, 8, uh, April 20th after my birthday. I wanted to make sure that was out the way. Mm, let me see what else y'all missed. Um, y'all missed the weigh in my way in so all together i have lost i'm not counting um this month um of march but i'm gonna count back from when january i had lost 16 pounds and i think all together now is 26 pounds down 
Um, so I'm happy about that. I'm also happy because um, I know that I'm down um, a little bit more from the weigh-in that went on, I think, two weeks ago um, because the simple fact that I feel so light on my knees, you all, and able to feel like that I'm running. I mean, I'm running, where before it was like, I better not run because if I run, I could just hear the knees going <laughs> breaking down like a folding chair, you know what I'm saying? And no. So I'm feeling great. And um, as I was looking at, I'm not trying to draw attention to these things because my God, but anyway, I was looking at the breast part and I'm looking saying, you know, this camera does not do any good. It's no justice you all, because this camera, it adds pounds to you. Yeah, it makes you look 10 pounds heavier basically than what you are because my press is not this big. I'm looking at the camera, but at the same time, they're going in, as you can see, they're going in. And I started thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I should wait to after I come down. Because what if I come down and these breasts come down? I mean, I lost all my breasts. I'm not trying to lose, look, look, look. I'm not trying to be flat chested, okay? I don't want to be flat chested. I just put these mountains off me. You know, they're too big, you know, but a nice size. So I'm trying to see, because even my trainer was like, mm, yeah, you're going to lose your breasts. So I'm looking like, well, man, it's because before I was just dieting and I wasn't working out. So maybe it'll work out, I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. Uh, some of y'all that have experienced this. But anyhow, um, nevertheless, I am decided on a double D size. I don't want to be taken down to no C and no D. That is boobless. You're not, you're, you're the itty bitty titty committee when it goes to that. So anyway, um, I like to stay a double D. You know, I've been that size before, it's a nice size. So. I'm thinking on that. But however, if I keep losing the weight by April 20th, and if I look at myself and be like, uh, I don't think I need no surgery, then I may not do it because I plan on going all the way down this time you all to my goal weight. So I'm figuring if I go all the way down to my goal weight, then what in the world the breast gonna look like then? They're gonna go down. I ain't trying to, no, 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 no. I ain't trying to lose everything, so hey. Anyhow, I'm grateful and I'm happy though. Like I said, I was able to run today. I took off running, you all, as you saw, but I had to slow it down a little bit because sister got tired, I ain't had no breakfast, you know, but I'm about to have me one of these, you all. I'm gonna warm up one of these and... I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up now, hold on. Let me warm this up, yeah, uh -huh. I usually put it on 120, that, that's good enough, you know. So y'all kind of like to see how it uh, go, and then I'ma grab me a, a fork. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And like I said, sometimes you want to share yourself. Sometimes you want to share with you all that you know things that happen. But I felt like being selfish, and I didn't really want to. I didn't want to share myself. I want to stay private for a minute. However. I send my deepest condolences to uh, one of my supporters, um, to, to her family. Um, she passed away. She's always in my comments, always. On Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. She was one of my love muffins and she passed away. And um, I send my condolences out, deepest condolences out to her family. Um, I shared it in my community post on YouTube, so I don't want to be like, well, I don't want to say her name and all of this type of stuff. But I already shared it. So, um, to Nympha Acosta's family, I, hope, I, hope, I pray to God that I'm saying her name right. Nympha Acosta. Acosta, Acosta, her family. Condolences to you all. She was a very um, supportive woman. 
I, I, I don't know her because she, all I know is she, she was a heavy supporter because she always commented on my, like I said, she was in my comments and she watched all my videos and she would always tell me how pretty I was and how she loved all my babies and um, how we were really inspiring to her and just a lot. So, you know, to that family, I'm reaching out to you and I, um, like I said, send you my condolences. I'm very, very, very sorry, deeply sorry about your loss. May God strengthen and encourage you to go on. It's very hard when you lose someone and may he fill that void that is going to be missing because it's going to be missing y'all. I just pray that he gives you the strength in that and that you'll be able to function, you know, without your loved one. I pray your strength in the name of Jesus. So anyway, you all, um, with that being said, here it is. That's how it looked. Y'all look just like beef. That looked like beef. Look at that. I kind of know what that is. I forgot to ask my trainer. But it's plant-based, so I'm telling Oh, my God. Y'all, yeah. I'm telling you, I have enjoyed this week. This is different. Uh, I had a veggie wrap. I had a veggie wrap, you all. No meat. It was a veggie wrap. And it just had um, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, lettuce, and onions in it or whatever. And it had a little creamy Mediterranean sauce. And boy, that was good. <laughs> Surprisingly. But anyway, here's a little bit of it with the green pepper on it. Mmm. Mmm. That was so good. So, yeah. These two are our dinner. And the two tacos was our lunch. Um, our breakfast was a smoothie. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodness. Oh, didn't even show you. Yeah. Breakfast smoothies. So, yes. That's what I wanted to show you all. That I'm still at it. I just was sitting back and chilling and into myself. And, um, yeah. But I just wanted to show y'all we still at it. We have not given up. We're going full force. We're going to reach our goals in the name of Jesus. With you all, with you, with all your help, of course, and, um, and all your prayers and all your encouragements and all the nice things that y'all say. Thank you so much. I love y'all so much. I really, 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 really appreciate all my love bugs and love muffins. I just wanted to say y'all have a blessed day and continue on to meet your goals if y'all having a hard time in your journey to go head on and continue and fight and press your way because this has not like i said this has not been easy but instead of looking at the right now i'm looking at the end and that's why i'm doing it i give all glory to god because he is the reason why with that being said peace out in jesus name be blessed